Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how you can display data and log space information for a database. So it can be done via three ways and in the first way is you can use graphical mode um, by using the standard reports and selecting the disk usage. It will show you uh, details regarding which particular table is using how much space uh, in a database. Another way is you can use a uh, stored procedure SP space used along with the table name to get the dead disk usage and the third uh, thing is you can query sys dot database file system catalog to find the space consumed by each database file now let's go through each demo first of all we will show you how you can graphically create a report using the standard reports so let's go to the instance of sql server i'm running and uh, let's close out this query window so now i would like to generate a standard report so for a test database uh, test db right click on the database and point to reports and underneath you will find standard reports under standard report the first report is disk usage let's click on it it will generate a report for you so i'm waiting for the report to generate so all right report is about to generate and it's fetching up data let's see what it displays um, it is displaying the total space reserved for the database which is 23 MB and data file space reserved is 18 MB and transaction log reserved space is 5 MB so means that the log file is using around 5 MB of space data files are using around 18 MB of space total of this comes to 23 MB and it is showing us separately space allocation for transaction log as well as the data files for transaction log uh, we can see that 81.5 percent space is unused and it is currently using 18.5 percent of disk space out of 100 percent and regarding data files data files in total if we talk about data files in total 85 percent of space is free or is online located some of the space which is 5.82 percent is used use by index one and 5.82 percent space is unused um, this space is allocated but it is unused and data is currently using 3.73 percent of this space not 3.73 percent but 5.43 percent unused space is 3.73 percent and underneath we can also see it is giving us this space used by data file so click on the plus icon it will give us the uh, details um, now it is giving us details of the data files which are both of which are are allocated on the primary file group and the test db and test db1 and it is giving the actual physical file name and the space reserved for each file which is totaling comes to 18 MB out of which space used is around uh, you can say 3 MB in total so 3 MB out of total 18 MB is used and so 15 MB is free alright so this was the report or graphical way to get the space allocation details for our database now let's close this report and move back to notes another way is to use the SP space use uh, stored procedure so let me take you to SQL server and we will try to use this stored procedure and for that you need to select the database and hit on new query and after that in order to execute the stored procedure you need to type in the exec command and after that you need to give the na name of the stored procedure and then you need to okay let's uh, execute this stored procedure without any arguments although it requires certain arguments i've used it without any arguments so if i don't provide any arguments it gives us the 
total space used by database so it is giving us details like database size is total 23 MB out of which 15.3 MB is unallocated or free and it is giving us little bit details like reserved spaces there is data is used data is using around 1000 KB of space, index is using about 1000 KB of space and new space is 688 KB. Alright, so we can also uh, find this usage by certain table. We can specify the name of the table along with that. So let's see what tables we have under test DB. So uh, we don't have any table. So Let's take another example of Northwind and database wherein we have some tables. So let's expand the table section. So here we have some tables. So let's open up a new query window and type exec sp underscore space used. And now we will provide the name of the table in single quote. So let's take dbo.categories as the table name. So it will now give me uh, this space usually pertaining to this table so I hit the F1 key so this particular table categories has 8 rows and for this table 280 KB of space is reserved 112 KB is used by data index is using 24 KB unused space is 144 KB we can get this used by tables as well using this SP space used stored procedure now the third way is we can use the sys database files uh, system catalog to find the space consumed by each data file so let's try to use it quickly so let me close this and we will uh, we will run it again the northwind database because it has some tables so in order to get details we need to issue in um, the select query let's take star from says dot database files right so let's set up five and is it is giving us details so we have two files two data files now uh, it is giving us one log file detail and one data file detail so northwind has two files so this query can be executed against stb as well so let me show you there so let's select test db and uh, hit on new query and let's type select star from and uh, say start database files let's execute this query so it is giving us details of all the files we are using for uh, this table although we had deleted some files so let me check the properties to see which all file it is using so right now it is using three files test underscore db test underscore db1 and test underscore db underscore log two of the files we had removed from that particular database but uh, those files must still be present so let me check whether those files are still present the db2 and the db3 so guys i am in program files folder we need to go to sql server folder sql server 14 ms sql and underneath that we, we can go to data folder so underneath we can see that we currently have test db test db1 and test db log file three files are there so those files were physically removed when we removed it from that database so those were physically deleted now let's go back to the database so we still have some stale records in the test db where it is mentioning us those two files which are not physically present let's see what are the details so we have file id and the type one is for log zero is for data file this space id uh, was given so right now if you look at this column state description two of the files are offline means that does not exist so they were consuming size but now they don't exist so three three of these files are online so it is giving us details on the size max size growth and various other properties so not much details but it just gives the details of 
space used by each file in terms of like size it is currently having so if we talk about test underscore db data file it has uh, it is consuming 1280k bytes of not bytes it's and the space is in kb so it is using 1280kb of disk space the test db log is using 640kb of disk space and test underscore db1 is using 1024kb of disk space so i think um, this is clear space information can be fetched using the sys.databases underscore files system catalog and let's go back to the notes so guys in this video we have discussed about various ways where you can fetch in the disk usage information the first way was graphical where you can run the disk usage report to get the disk space allocation in a graphical format and you can also use sp space use procedure to fetch the same information and this uh, stored procedure can be used along with the tables or without any arguments as well and also you can query the sys.database underscore file system catalog to find the space consumed by each database file and we have given demo for all of these three cases so i think uh, we are done with this video and i thank you so much for your time uh, please do like this video if the content is good and uh, please subscribe to my channel and comment it as well and uh, click on the bell icon and select the all option to get um, updates for all my future videos and uh, please share this video with your friends as well so that their knowledge can be enhanced as well i once again thank you all for your time and you have a wonderful day ahead